today's project is uh, how to make a uh, curved surface uh, on the mill and then putting on text that then follows this curve. Uh, an example of what I could use this for would for example be uh, the curved uh, lamellas on a chair and then if you would like to engrave something on one of the lamella. Uh, so here I just put on some words. And I will try to show how I made the solid part in SketchUp and then milled it uh, using VCarve and also used VCarve to uh, project the text down onto the surface, the curved surface of the uh, milled object. The first thing to do is to create the shape or the surface, the curved surface that we want to mill the text into. And envision that this uh, could, for example, be a lamella. Uh, on a deck chair uh, you would maybe have uh, your back leaning against this part here and uh, you would like to um, put um, the uh, name of your ranch or your house or whatever on the back side here. So uh, the first thing to do is basically create this, the shape, I'll not do that, it's here, and then save it um, as a SketchUp file. Uh, just as you would do with any other uh, thing you have been drawing in SketchUp. Next is going into uh, VCarve and uh, here we specify the job size, uh, 45 centimeters. It's a 5 centimeter wide uh, lamella and uh, the thickness uh, of the material that I will be carving in is uh, 20 millimeters. Then we basically go and import the, uh, the, the model uh, that we created. And here you can see it, that's the lamella that we just saw in SketchUp. And it's turning the right way, so we will not change any of these. However, I would like it to uh, be centered so it's a 20 millimeter here. And um, now we have the curve uh, um, and a little extra material and then this below I'll just disregard that for, for this because right now it's just a matter of trying to position the text. So I'll OK that and this is the piece we have it here. Uh, and uh, the next is to add some text to uh, the um, piece here. I just use the same text, uh, 15 millimeters will go fine and you cannot see anything but it's right here. Uh, so we'll need to center that on the piece, like that. And uh, essentially that's all we need to do before we make the, uh, the milling operations. Um, and we will start with a roughening tool. And I, uh, yeah, this is all uh, standard stuff, we'll just okay that. I decide to use the same ball nose for both roughing and uh, the uh, fine part, uh, six millimeter ball nose, then I avoid uh, changing the bit before I need to go with the wee bit. So I leave one millimeter uh, there and we calculate that one and just a quick uh, preview. So it just makes these sets of steps, but you can already now envision the, the curvature. And then we just make the finishing p uh, tool pass, same ball nose calculate and it's a little more time consuming and we, we preview that and you can see I have asked it to raster along the x-axis so it's gonna go with the grain which gives a nicer result uh, uh, on the part. Step over is 10% uh, so with the roughening and the finishing tool pass already uh, we are ready to go and select the uh, text and uh, do a recarving of that. And uh, there it's important that we uh, take this box down here, project toolpath onto 3D model, because that's the whole trick, is now the text will be bent on uh, these curve, uh, the curved surface. If I don't do it, and you can just see how it will actually work, we can see how it looks and you only get part of the text done here. So we have to open it again, click this one and then say calculate and then we can preview it 
again and then now we get the nice result so uh, let's go out and see how this work out on the machine Okay, now we have zeroed all, and uh, we are basically ready to cut the uh, the curved part uh, with the ball nose. It's a six millimeter ball nose, and then after that we will be doing the V carving. <laughs> 